Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and thanks to you, in this video I'm unboxing a Horween Leather Bible from Crossway. Alright, I'm going to take this big box and go... Whoops! Oh! And now that I'm, I'm feeling it, even before I get it out, I can feel it's a very smooth... This is pretty nice. This looks very great. It's, it's... Okay, I recently unboxed the Goatskin Edition of the ESV Heirloom Heritage Bible from Crossway. And in that video, I kind of mentioned that I had not gotten a hold of one of Crossway's new Horween leather Bibles. There had been a mix-up when the Bibles first came out. And these are like some of the most talked about Bibles in the last six months. Like everyone's been talking about how great they are. A lot of people really, really love them. A lot of people really, really don't love them. So there's like a little bit of back and forth going on about that. And I've been trying to get one. I mentioned that I hadn't been able to get my hands on one. And I kind of jokingly said, hey, if you have one, to send me, send it to me. And I don't know why I should be surprised by the generosity of the people on this channel, but multiple people, like half a dozen people reached out and said, hey, I've got a copy. I'd love to send it to you. You can check it out and send it back to me. I was like, oh my gosh, people are so kind. And so I took up the first person who sent me a message. His name is Jason. You might remember Jason Engel, his name, because he donated an NRSV premium Bible to my Christmas Bible giveaway. So Jason is like the new friend of the channel over here, right? He's donating Bibles to the giveaway, sending me Horween Leather Bibles. So I have a Horween Leather Bible here. I'm getting to unbox it and see it for the very first time. I'm really excited. I brought my B cam along with me. Hello. And I'm ready to go. Are you ready? Let's do this. Three, two, and one. So as I said, these Bibles have been very talked about over the last few months. A lot of excitement. Some people, I've seen a lot of people posting and saying, this is my new forever Bible. I love this Bible more than any other Bible I've ever had. But some people have posted theirs for sale in the Bible uh, the Bible groups on, on Facebook, like the Bible Exchange and Buy, Sell, Trade, Everything Bibles. They've said, hey, this is not for me. So it's, it's definitely a peculiar, interesting piece. So I'm opening this up. Here is the Bible from Jason. All right, I'm going to take this big box and go... <laughs> Whoops! Here we go. Okay, here... The box looks very much the same as everything else you see from Crossway. Black, two-piece box, really beautiful look and feel. All right, I'm ready to open this up. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Pledge card. Same as the last one I just unboxed. The little uh, shroud that it comes in. Oh! Wow, that looks nice. So the color, I'm not, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to get in there yet. The color is like a very kind of chocolatey brown. It kind of has Hershey bar chocolate kind of brownness to it. Oh man, now that I'm I'm feeling it. Even before I get it out, I can feel it's a very smooth piece of leather. Do you see that? Think about like the pebble of goat skin. Look at how smooth that is, and it feels very smooth. And you can see the, my lights here in the studio kind of reflecting off of it. It's got a sheen to it. This is pretty nice. This looks very great. It's, it's, it's similar, I mean, similar overall size as the other one, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give away the, the lead here. I'm going to do a new comparison video tomorrow where I do this video side by side, this Bible side by side with the Goatskin Edition. So that's coming tomorrow, but really, really nice. Look at that. Great piece of brown leather. It almost has, it's not, I wouldn't call it marbled, but it has some depth and character, like some color variation to it. It's raised spines on the hub. It's blind stamped in there. Blind stamping is when it's actually impressed into the Bible, but they don't use ink or anything or gold foil, that sort of thing. So it's blind stamped. So it says Holy Bible, the ESV logo, um, English Standard Version, and the Crossway logo. It's got those same four dinky ribbons that they put on all their premium Bibles, these four skinny colored ribbons, gilding. The big thing here is the leather. Really nice perimeter stitch. Now, Jason told me he's used this Bible a little bit this year, and you can see. So if I'm going to try to get this on the B-cam, can you see, like, the little discolorations? Like, right, right there is, like, a little discoloration. You can see a couple little scuffs in there, right there. This is a, a I, don't know if, I don't know if it's technically in the, in the world of leather, soft leather, but it's a soft, it's, it's one that's going to show wear over time. One of the things that a lot of people are excited about this Bible is it's going to wear and the oils from your skin and the more you use it, it's going to show age and show wear. And, and that's something that some people love and some people don't love, but it's a, it's a leather that's going to do that over time. It's going to take on, I guess, new character over time, which I think is kind of cool. This definitely 
feels in hand very high quality. But as I'm looking at this Bible right here, just looking at the spine, you can see the places where Jason, just in probably owning this Bible for a couple months, there's little places where his fingernails have scratched it. He's, he's set it down weird, that sort of thing. Even on this cover, I think it's hard to see in the, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a couple of photos after I record this video. I'm going to insert those right here so you can see as I'm talking, see the photos of some of these marks in here. Just slight little variations. And you know, some people, that's like not what they're looking for, as I just said. But some people are like, oh, this is my Bible. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to feel like mine. I think that's really cool. So it'd be really cool. And I think Jason's planning on doing this is to like show a before and after of how, what this Bible looks like after you use it for a while. But, um, mm -mm -mm. In my hand, first impression, it feels a little bit like softer and floppier as far as the binding goes than the Goatskin Edition. Again, I'm going to do a comparison so you can see that. But just in case you haven't seen the text block or watched the other video, really beautiful single column text block, no references or anything. It's just a very, very appealing text block to me. It's kind of a, a short and stout Bible, you know? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. I'm a little Bible, short and stout. I'm losing my mind. This is really cool. I, I'm kind of wrapping my mind. This is literally the first time I've seen one of these four wing leather Bibles, and I've seen a lot of chatter online from people about, you know, what I just talked about, the character of this Bible and how it's going to change over time. But it definitely feels, right? It feels very premium. It feels very high quality. It's got this lovely perimeter stitch around the outside. You can see the, the, the character of that leather. It, it's got a nice thickness to it. It's not too thick. It's like just right. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. Really beautiful, like clean brown on the inside with the end sheets and all that stuff. Like everything looks really nice. Horween, if you're not familiar, is just a leather company. I think they're based in Chicago and that's near where Crossway is. They're a leather company. It's just a type of leather, a brand of leather. Um, and it's, it's a specific piece of the cowhide, I believe, is, is why it's called Horween. But it's super high quality. You see it often in like wallets and watch straps and things like that. Lots of different bags and things. Um, but man, this is, I love the deep brown color. I really like the color and I really like the soft feel of it. It's that, that kind of thing where what I'm thinking about in my head is if I were to use this Bible, I would naturally want to baby it a little bit because I wouldn't want it to get too beat up. But that's what this Bible is going to do. But if you're going to pay like $250, $300, that's how much one of these is going to cost you you really have to like think through if that's the kind of thing you want in your Bible. And some people are like, yes, I want a Bible that looks beat up and old. And this is a really, really luxury piece of leather that's intended to do that. So it's going to look old. It's going to look beat up and it's going to hold up because it's well constructed and it's a really, really good piece of leather, but it's going to show age and wear. It's very interesting. I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased with how this turned out as far as just the overall build and specs and all that stuff. It's a very, very lovely Bible. I'm excited to spend a little bit of time with this. Like I said, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this Horween leather copy of the Heritage and the Goatskin leather copy of the Heritage. That's coming out tomorrow, so check back if you want to see these side-by-side. -side. I might be doing a couple of other videos with this Bible, too, before I send it back to Jason. Shout out to Jason, yes, for sending me this Bible. It was very, very kind of him. Uh, thank you so much, Jason. This is really cool to see this in person. And these are really great Bibles. Now. The only catch here is, as I'm recording this video, Crossway has sold out of the Heritage and I believe the Omega Horween editions. I think at the last time I checked, they had a few of the legacies left. And I, I said in my video review of the, of the Heritage, or my unboxing of the Heritage that was in Goatskin, that they were not sure if they were going to do more. Now they've posted on their website that they're planning to get more in. But it's fall 2023. So it's going to be a while before these are back. But man, really, really beautiful Bible. If you have one of these, I would love to know what you think. So leave me a comment. And let me know if you have questions about this. Leave me a comment and I will get back to you and give you an answer. This was really fun. Again, I got more videos coming out this week with the ESV Premium Bibles. So stay tuned for those. This is, this is really great. And thank you again to Jason. And thank you for watching.